Well, now, Charlotte and I are going to work on a speech from St. Joan by George Bernard Shaw. And this speech happens later on in the play when Joan is being accused by uh, the court and the bishops. Okay, do you want to just have a go? Just speak it through once. There is no help, no counsel in any of you. Yes, I am alone on earth. I have always been alone. My father told my brothers to drown me if I would not stay to mind his sheep while France was bleeding to death. What well, France might perish if only our lambs were safe. I thought France would have friends at the court of the King of France, and I find only wolves fighting for her pieces of her poor, torn body. I thought God would have friends everywhere, because he is the friend of every one. I will go out now, to the common people, and let the love in their eyes comfort me for the hate in yours. You will all be glad to see me bird, but if I go through the fire, I shall go through it to their hearts for ever and ever. And so, God be with me. Oh, well done, Shanet. I tell you what I'd really like to do. I didn't know I was going to do this. So um, I, I think we should divide this speech up into a, a bit of structure. OK. Um, I think there are three main elements you might want to consider in this speech. There's you, there's God, and there's France, including the people of France. And I think what we should do, sort of broadly speaking, is find a different area for each of those um, elements so that you move to the, those particular places when you're going to talk, talk about them. I quite like to have a chair. Pull that chair in behind you. And I'm going to pull this chair in. One there. And let's pull an, another chair in. OK. So, which one's you? Um, that'll be that, me. You, and this is? God. And this then is France and the people of France. Yeah. So the idea is not to talk as you go between the chairs, but go to the chair and speak the bit about that place, person, Godhead. And then when you go to another one too, it's a bit of an exploration. You might not get it right first time. Have a go, yeah? Okay. All right. So where does she start? It starts with herself. Yeah, okay. There is no help, no counsel in any of you. Yes, I am alone Sit in on the chair. earth. Sit in the chair. I have always been alone. My father told my brothers to drown me if I would not stay to mind his sheep while France was bleeding Where's to France? death. Where's France? Oh. So, well, go back. Well, go back. So, when you start talking yourself about yourself there, my, yes, I am alone. So, don't yes, be afraid to break it up and find where you're going to go. Okay. My father told my brothers to drown me if I would not stay to mind his sheep while France was bleeding to death. OK, good. Don't talk as you go. You're going to go there and then talk about it. Right. I want you to really open this speech up. France might perish if only our lambs were safe. Well, I thought France would have friends at the court of the King of France, and I find only wolves fighting for pieces of her poor, torn body. Where are you going now? God. Off you go, then. I thought God would have friends everywhere, because he is the friend of everyone. And in my innocence, I believed that you, I think that might be yeah, over here. Yeah, go on then. Uh, and I believed, on, in my might... innocence, I believed that you, who now cast me out. Who's you? Be Where's like you? Me, I, me, would now, oh, France. No, not France. <laughs> <laughs> me. OK. And I believed that you, who now cast me out, would be like strong towers to keep harm from me. But I am wiser now, and nobody is any the worse for being wiser. Do not think you can frighten me by telling me that I am alone. France is alone. And God is alone. And what is my loneliness before the loneliness of my country <laughs> and my God? Ooh. <laughs> uh, I, s I see now that the loneliness of God is his strength forever and ever. And so, God be with me. What did you think about that? Yeah, it gives you a nice structure very, very swiftly as to yeah. who and what she's talking about. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And she sees it so clearly, her allegiance to the people and her allegiance to God and sees them together and, and sees the detractors on the other side very clearly. Yeah, brilliant. Very well done. I'd love to try one more thing. And uh, Chris, would you help us with this? Yeah. It's quite useful to have the experience of a bit of help. So if we just move the chairs out of the way. What I'm going to ask you to do, Chris, I want you to stand close behind Seanette and I want you to read the speech at the same time as her. Okay. See how it feels. At the same pace. Yep. Yep. Quite close behind her. Mm. Let's find a good position where she can hear you without having to look at you. Let's just see how it goes. There, there is, is no, no help, help, no, no counsel, counsel in, in any, any of, of you. you. Yes. yes. I am, I am alone, alone on earth. earth. I, have I have always been, been alone. alone. My, my father, father told my brothers to drown me if I would not stay to mind his sheep while France was bleeding to death. But if, but if I, I go through, through the fire, I shall, I shall go through it to their, to their hearts forever and ever. And, and so, God, God be with me. <laughs> what was that like, Jeanette? Lots of things. Uh, first of all, it, it, you're saying I'm alone is the first thing you're saying and actually she knows she isn't alone because she's got God and it is like the voice of God going on in the background which is lovely it's very supportive yeah then there's the bit of you that's the actor going um trying to stay in sync and listen and stay and listen and stay and it also opens your ear to someone else's rhythms a mm. little bit mm. because you I tend to rush at things like mm. a steam train and mm. to hear you just let me enjoy it a bit because I held back a bit and was, it slowed me down a little yeah. bit and stopped me from racing through. Yeah. And having that gave authority, I felt I had authority when I did that. Yeah, um, absolutely. So it's there were quite a few, th there were lots of things going on there. Yeah, fantastic. And OK, just to finish up then, we won't do the whole speech again, but just do a bit of again, see if you can remember Chris behind That feeling. You. Yeah. yeah. Uh, France is alone. And God is alone. And what is my loneliness before the loneliness of my country and my God? I see now that the loneliness of God is his strength. What would he be if he listened to your jealous little counsels? Well, my loneliness shall be my strength too. It is better to be alone with God. His friendship will not fail me, nor his counsel, nor his love. In his strength, I will dare and dare and dare until I die. I will go out now to the common people and let the love in their eyes comfort me for the hate in yours. You will all be glad to see me burnt, but if I go through the fire, I shall go through it to their hearts forever and ever. And so, God be with me. And how did that feel? Yeah. Yes. I know <laughs> what you mean. He's there. He's there behind yeah. you. It's yeah. Good. And it, you really had a sense of being in your body, being supported by your own back, mm. rather than pushing and trying to persuade. It was very, from the outside, you seemed very empowered by that. Mm. Well done. That was fantastic. Thank you. Pleasure. So we've done just a couple of exercises there to, to explore the text from a tangent um, outside of the, the pressure of the rehearsal room. Um, and looking a little bit at rhetoric, but also ab about 